Fire of Lesbians is. How are we doing, guys? So, we're back. So, this is Cured. Now, I don't know if I said this, but I made this for my neighbor. Um, she just, I think she needs some cheering up. And anytime I can make something fun and just give it to somebody to cheer them up, I think that's going to be a plus. Um, I did put some sparkle glitter stuff in here, diamond dust, metallic. Uh, I did put some of that in there because, number one, I had... I was, originally, I was going to make the tray a different color because she's not really big into white, pure white. That's why I wasn't too concerned when some of this gold powder got around the outside edge. But it was a little inconsistent, and I thought the glitter really helped it. Uh, like I said, I did get some here around the edge, but I was going to go farther out with it, which maybe I should have, but she's going to love it regardless. She is going to truly love this. So, now, like I was saying, I've got a, a small Dollar Tree haul. Really small. Like, super small. Uh, just a few items. So, one of the things I bought, I bought a Halloween tree. Because Halloween is coming up quickly upon us. And I can use it as a fall tree also. Uh, after Halloween, we can use it for like Thanksgiving. Uh, but I wanted to get it. I thought it was going to be cool. And it is an orange and black tree. For a dollar and a quarter. I thought this is going to be super fun. Because uh, I have some really fun items. Fun things planned for Halloween. Uh, we're going to do some really cute stuff. And... Look at that tree. Is that too cute or what? I love these Dollar Tree trees. Love the Dollar Tree trees. And you just stick your little legs in like so. Really easy to put in. I gotta say that now I can't get it in. I say that and I can't get it in there. There it goes. Okay, why does this one not want to go? Maybe they don't have it in there straight. There we go. Yeah, that's what it was. I just wasn't putting it on straight. So anyway, you just bend your little limbs out here how you want them. Like a stove. Like I said, we're going to have fun around Halloween. Um, I know Halloween isn't for everybody. So we're not going to do strictly spooky stuff. We will do some. But we're going to do a lot of fall-inspired Halloween. Pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, autumn, fall leaves. Stuff like that. But I have some really fun things. Really, really fun things planned, guys. Really fun things. Oh, I guess I put the third leg on. Like, why isn't it sitting up? Because I have the leg here still in my hand. There we go. So, yeah. That's my plan here. We're going to have our little tree sitting up here. And as we decorate it, the closer we get towards Halloween, we'll show it in the videos. As we make stuff to go on it. And that's what we're going to do, is we're going to make our decorations to go on here. Um, there may be one night where we make, like, a beaded garland out of different things. Uh, there may be a night where we make something for the top of it. You know, we're going to make a variety of different things, So, So, big, 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 big plans. So, yeah, this is our little Halloween tree. I'm going to finish sprucing it up. And getting it set where I want it for Halloween. I'm going to find a place for it first. Alright. I've been wanting one of these. I saw several people on, on YouTube haul this from Dollar Tree. And it is a voice controlled tabletop light. Uh, you can say a few things to it. To wake it up, you say dumb lamp. And then you give it a command. Turn on the light. Brighten the light, change the light, dim the light, and turn off the light. 
So, we're going to try this right quick here. I have uh, Alexa for my bedroom because I don't have a light up in the a light switch for my ceiling light. And uh, in order to turn it off, I have to stand on my bed and screw the light bulb. It was a pain. Didn't think it was too good idea to be standing on the bed to unscrew the light bulb every night. So, I bought a smart bulb and I connected it to my Alexa so I can turn my light off there anytime I want. But I have other rooms in the house. That don't have a whole lot of light. My kitchen, I have a small light in there, and I'd like to be able to have something maybe there. Sorry if you can hear it. I don't know. at t or something is up there with a ladder doing something to the lines. I don't know what they're doing. Alright, we're going to plug this in. Let's just plug this in. All right. Dome light off. Oh, what does it say? Wait a minute. Hang on. I gotta get my door here. Dome lamp. Turn off the light. <laughs> you see this, guys? Dome lamp. Turn on the light. Dome lamp. Brighten the light. Dome lamp. Change the color. Dome lamp. Change the color. Dome lamp. Dim the light. Dome lamp. Turn off the light. That's pretty cool. For just a little USB powered light, that's pretty awesome. I really like that. So, yeah, all you say is dome lamp and it turns on. Dome lamp. Dome lamp. Turn on the light. See, did you see it flash when I said its name? Dome lamp. Change the color. Dome lamp. Change the color. Okay. Dome lamp. Change the color. Dome lamp. Brighten the light. That got bright. Wow. Pretty fun. For a dollar and a quarter. I mean, if you just got a space that you need a light... And another place I thought if you had a plug-in for it, another place that would be handy for this would be like in your closet. When you open the closet, you just tell it to turn the light on. Pretty cool. I just like fun, weird gadgets. I had a friend that called me Gadget Girl. Alright, so, I bought this item. And I didn't realize it was going to be as fun as what it was. And I bought two of them. So, I opened the first one off camera. Like I said, I didn't realize it was, number one, I thought it was one item in there. And it turned out to be considerably more. Let me get them all out here and I'll show you. Oh yeah, I'm missing one still. Missing one still, what am I missing? Okay, so what it is, is, it is, they're called micro minis, and they're a little bitty miniature, almost like the, almost like the mini, mini verse, except it's like a minimal variety of stuff, there's not a lot, and I'm missing something still, I don't know what happened to it, I'll have to look for it, um, but I opened it up and I was like, Oh my gosh. There's several items in here. You see the little sushi? That is too cute. We have a little cup. A little bitty measuring cup. We have a cupcake. We have a, I believe it's a macaroon. It's a bitty macaroon. 
we have a, I'm guessing a bowl of cereal, or like a fruit bowl, because it looks like it's got strawberries and blueberries and maybe bananas, is that what that is, bananas, and then have a sunny side up egg, there's also a bottle of hot sauce somewhere around here, I find it maybe. But I bought two of these, and I thought, well, why not? Let's open the other one here on camera. And let's see what we get. If it's a duplicate of what we've just got, or if we get something different. Now, unlike minis, they're not, these aren't individually wrapped. So, when you pull them out, when you open it up, they're all just in here. So, let's pull this out. Oh, what do we get here? Oh, we got a chocolate bar. Ha ha! That's pretty cute. We got a Hershey's bar. Okay. Oh, what do we get here? Avocado toast. Oh, more sushi. More sushi. Here we go. It's pretty cute. On a little plate. <laughs> what do we get here? Oh, we got a donut. Pink donut with purple icing. Oh, what do we get here? Uh, looks like pancakes or look, get my glasses on here. Let me get my glasses on. Yep, maple syrup. Is that cute or what? That is adorable. Of course, at some point, these will probably get used in a resin project. What is this? Is that a whisk? I'm guessing it's supposed to be a whisk. It helps if I'm on camera, huh? Kind of looks like it's supposed to be a whisk because it's got a handle up here with a hole in it so you could like hang it up on your deal that's what it looks like a whisk okay all these for a dollar and a quarter guys okay what do we got here oh we got another cupcake i guess this would be more like a muffin What do we got here? We got something else tiny. Teeny, teeny, tiny. Ah! Oh, we got another little measuring cup. So, we got a smaller one and a last one. There we go. <laughs> Is that it? Yep, that's it. So, that's up for a dollar and a quarter. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's fun. If you got kids that want to do this and you don't, you know, you don't have the money to spend for $10 for a ball. I don't know what happened to the little, I had a little bottle of, it looked like a wasabi, not wasabi, looked like a, like red hot sauce. It was a, yeah, it was a. Bright, bright red hot sauce bottle. But yeah, I thought these were super cute. And I thought I'd open them on camera with you guys. Just so you could get a look at them. So in case you're interested in them. Or you see them and you're not sure what they are. They are several of them. There's not a big collection of them. I think there's like so many. Eight, I think is what it said. There's only eight to collect. And I'm assuming they mean like eight of these kind. I'm guessing the cupcakes and the stuff are just kind of, they're just kind of random. But I'm guessing like eight major food items. So, not a lot of, play, not a lot to collect. So, you're not tied into a huge, huge amount. Which I thought was kind of cool. Again, I don't know what I did with this one. That bottle was so cute too. I'm like, oh, how cute is that? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, let me pick these up for now.
And I'll show you the last two things I bought. So I got this. He is a little uh, MDF board owl. And I want to do something with him with some resin and embellishing him and seeing what we can do to make him look really cool. So he's going to be one of our fall projects because we're going to make him look very, very woodsy. Who knows, we might even, once we get him made, we might even put him in a tray that looks like a tree. I don't know. We'll see what we do there. And then, of course, because I, I can never have enough glues of any kind, I bought this, which is a waterproof permanent bonds and repairs super glue fix-all. So, I bought it because I wanted it. It says it works on uh, leather, fabric, paper, ceramic, metal, mold, metal, wood, plastic, and more. So, these are handy when you got to glue something on and you need it to stick pretty quick. So, that's it, guys. That's my Dollar Tree haul. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Uh, glad I got to show you the tray finished. I said all I had to do was just go in there and add on a top coat here but it did turn out very pretty and I'll probably give it to her when she gets home later from work uh, just to be like here I made this so all right guys I hope everyone has a wonderful night I hope your resin cures beautiful your craft projects turn out amazing I hope you're all happy healthy safe and blessed and I will see you guys tomorrow night bye